Hey guys, thanks for watching. This video, we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna show you how to delete the background out of any picture. So first we're gonna go find a Harrison Ford picture cause he's like the only actor I kinda like, I guess. This one's perfect because he's waving and that's the look I'm going for. So I'm gonna save it to a, a uh, file on my computer called new video pull it out and uh, this app is called preview so in preview you go over and hit this markup button and then you hit that little magic wand and then as you click and highlight everything that turns red will delete when you hit delete you can see all the squiggly lines that are moving Go ahead and hit delete, and it's going to ask you if you want to change the picture. You do. So as you just keep doing that, you want to make sure that you don't highlight a portion that you want to keep. As it keeps highlighting his jacket there, I don't want that to delete. I want to I want to keep that. So I'm just going to move it around a little bit. Um, there's all kinds of things you can do with this. This is the slow way there's a bulk way to do some deletes and i'm going to show you that next um i'm watching the video play right now so you go all the way over here you can do elliptical lasso or rectangular rectangular is easy because you can just click and swing it over everything you mark you hit delete and it's gone so you can do that a bunch obviously it's not as detailed but uh, it does a lot of the bulk delete, just like that. Um, then you go ahead and you swap back over to that little magic tool. You keep going through doing all the detail stuff. It probably took oh, maybe 10 minutes or something um, to get this all deleted and cleaned up the way I wanted. You notice how in the background the original picture keeps showing up? Isn't that incredible? All the data is still there. This lasso selector, I really like that. You can zoom in. I don't like the smart lasso. I tried that a bunch, and I just, I'm not a fan. I don't know. Maybe I just don't know how to use it right yet, but did not do what I had hoped. So anyways, I use the lasso. I zoom in, and you can just kind of drag it around the edges and get these little detail areas. You do have to connect it at the end like that, and then you can delete. So I just keep going through doing these, I call these kind of bulk deletes, little fine tuning things. It takes a few minutes to get it all the way you want. Going back to that, you can end up deleting these little things like that, but it looks, sometimes it looks a little bit weird if you delete too much. So having a little bit of shadow to me looks more natural. On his hand, that's all right. Later on, I delete something by his other ear that's not visible right now, and I, I'm not happy with the way that turned out, so I ended up not doing that. The bulk for this type of stuff is really nice and easy. Super quick. You just want to make sure you don't clip off a part that you want to keep. If you do, you can just uh, go and hit undo on your editor. Undo delete under the edit button on the top menu. Remember, everything that turns red will delete, so you want to... Uh, Kind of move that cursor around to mark up what you want to delete and if it marks too much then of course you want to stop having it zoomed in you can get all the detail work and you got to remember this is way zoomed in so if you're going to use this for like a thumbnail on a video like a youtube thumbnail like this picture might look familiar because it is a thumbnail on one of my other videos um you don't have to do that much detail because you're not going to see all the detail. With a noggin like mine, you wouldn't have these issues because I'm bald. So it's kind of fortunate but unfortunate, I guess. I don't know. It seems like people with hair would 
just get really hot all the time. Super simple, just marking out and kind of smoothing the edges. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect because the background I'm gonna use is gonna be black. So that's all gonna blend in anyways. If you're gonna use a different background that's not black, you might wanna zoom in some more, do a little more detail. But I don't think you wanted to watch a 20 minute video. See how his ear, his left ear, the earlobe looks a little bit weird. I, I feel like it trimmed too much. So there I went back and undeleted and brought back some of that shadow because I, I think that looks a lot more natural. It's like one in the morning to me. It's I'm in Hawaii and I can't sleep. So I decided to make another video kind of addicted to YouTubing. I hope you guys enjoy this. I, I've always wondered how to do this and I guess there's apps on phones you can do this really easily, but I am not a tech person, so I've been messing around with this way. And once you get all the bulk stuff deleted, you have your picture. Now it looks like there's a white background, but there's actually no background on this picture. There's a little bit of little piece there on the bottom left that I left. But the thing to remember is uh, whatever you're going to use as a background, of course, you want to save the picture. But this picture of Harrison Ford will be an overlay to whatever background you choose. So if you want to do like your your dogs, uh, just cut out your dogs or something and have them walking across a pond or something. I don't know, whatever you want to do. But uh, it it is kind of a fun little feature with uh, the MacBooks. I don't know how to do it on a Windows computer. But anyways, thanks for watching.